now based on the same union formula let's try to solve another question uh, let's read the question in a school there are 20 teachers who teach mathematics or physics again see here or so whenever you get or you should understand this is union okay so mathematics union physics is how much 20 uh, of this 12 teach mathematics okay and 4 teach both physics and mathematics and it means intersection and means intersection and or means or means yes union so keep in mind uh, if somewhere if you see and it means th they are talking about intersection and if you get somewhere or it means it is union okay and how many uh, how many teach physics uh, okay so uh, I think I hope you understand the question now from the given information you need uh, you, uh, first you you have to write that given information properly so uh, I'm doing the same thing I'm trying to write all the information given properly okay here uh, when I'm writing M you need to understand that I'm talking about mathematics okay I'm going to write about mathematics and if I'm writing P then you need to understand I'm talking about physics okay so uh, total number of math union physics as per the question is how much there are 20 teachers who teach mathematics or physics so uh, number of teachers who may teach mathematics or may physics or may both we, we don't know but is total number is 20 and 12 teach mathematics so number of teacher who is teaching mathematics is 12 and 4 teach both physics and mathematics so again number of teacher who are teaching physics and mathematics means intersection mathematics is how much 4 so how many teach physics so how many teachers are teaching physics only we need to find out this so we can solve this problem with the help of Venn diagram also and without using Venn diagram also uh, let's try to solve by the formula we know the formula that what do we know we know that uh, M union P means number of M union P means and P total number in set M total number in set P minus total number in set M intersection P all right so let's put all the given information into the formula now M intersection P uh, union P M union P is already given that is 20 all right and number of elements in elements or you can say number of teachers in uh, teaching math is how much 12 and teachers teaching physics we don't know but we know the teachers teaching uh, both physics and math is how much four all right uh, you don't worry here I have written P intersection M and here I write uh, unfortunately I write here uh, um, uh, M intersection P that, that that's same thing whether you're writing M intersection P or P intersection M both have the same meaning okay now it is 20 and now 12 minus 4 that is 8 plus N P all right so how many total students so now we are going to so the next step will be NP will be 20 minus 8 that is 12 so the total teachers who are teaching physics is 12 you can show this information into the Venn diagram also if you want to show in Venn diagram then first you have to draw a uh, rectangle and then and then a section for mathematics all right and another curve for physics okay uh, let me suppose this is uh, mathematics and this is physics so the first we need to start from the middle all right this is our middle who are teaching mathematics as well as physics are four and the teachers who are teaching only mathematics is how much 12 so it is 12 minus 4 that is 8 because total mathematics teaching teachers were 12 and 4 we have already written here so that's why it will be 12 minus 4 that is 8 and now if you go to the physics section all right uh, total uh, physics teacher is 12 all right but four are teaching out of those 12 teachers four are teaching maths also so that's why here will be eight all right and uh, now if you want to solve the same problem or without using uh, uh, without using this formula then also there is a very simple way just go to the Venn diagram just make a Venn diagram all right and 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 solve it uh, suppose I'm making a Venn diagram all right suppose I'm making a Venn diagram mm alright this is again representing my uh, math section alright and this one for physics 
okay so uh, in this case how to solve without uh, using formula now we know that the total um, maths and physics teacher is 20 altogether it is total is 20 and we know teachers who are teaching physics and math both is 4 so let's put here 4 and now what information we have got the total math teacher are 12 so out of 12 we have right already we have written 4 because these 4 teachers are teaching mathematics but teaching physics also alright and now out of out of uh, total 12 we have written here 4 so left are 8 so now 8 plus 4 uh, 12 so total mathematics we have finished now let's deal about physics we don't know the teachers who are just teaching physics only not mathematics we don't know that but what we know that the total number of teachers were how much total number of teachers were yes 20 and out of this 20 you have already written 8 and 4 it means 12 you have already written so 20 minus 12 8 will be here so physics teacher also 8 that's simple all right in this way you can solve all right uh, hope you understand this and similar a lot of question we're going to solve that will give you definitely a lot of uh, concepts keep on watching and keep on getting the concept if you have